So you know nothing of programming? Nothing at all? That's great! That's great because I am going to show you it's possible to program a game and even publish it on the web for PC and smartphones. The goal of our game today is going to make our character, Magic, fly and avoid hanging obstacles, Stalastites. A nice and simple game. On a click of the mouse button or the touch screen on your smartphone, Magic flaps its wings and rises a little. In your opinion, how many lines of code does it take to make this game using a classic computer language such as JavaScript, Java, C Sharp? How many? Yes, it's about 200 lines with a classic language. With AOZ Studio, I will show you how to program this game in just 17 lines only. Let's go! So what do we need? First, let's choose our language, a text editor and a compatible IDE, load the various APIs, SDKs and the libraries, now put everything together and configure them, then there's some more to do, make a server with DNS and we'll be all set. No, I'm kidding. That's how it was before. Now, to start programming, all you need is AOZ Studio and one single install. AOZ Studio is a brand new creation tool designed to make professional quality applications by dummies. Um, uh, I mean, non-professionals. I hope to convince you that learning how to program is now easier than ever, and that even if you know nothing about computers, and I mean nothing, with a little concentration and effort, at the end of this video, you will know how to program this game and many others. My grandmother used to say that today, knowing how to speak computer is more important than speaking any other language, and that tomorrow it will be as essential as knowing how to use Word, Mail or Excel. I've talked too much already. Well, shall we program the game? First of all, I set a scene by typing this program line. I'll explain. In the AOZ language, the instructions display graphics is actor. I need to name my actor and I'm calling him decor, and I associate it with its image file, forest.png. The run button that is here allows me to immediately see my program running. Voila! With just one instruction, I display an image. Let's carry on. Now we need a hero, and who's better than Magic, one of the characters of AOZ. So I add a new line. I thus create a new actor to whom I give the name Magic, and I assign him his magicfly.png image. Then I click on the Run button to run my program, which will then play on every device that has an internet browser. Now I would like my scenery to move in a loop from right to left, which is called scrolling. For this, I complete my line with the actor decor. I press Run and voila, the decor is looping. Let's take a closer look and see what the code does. The coordinates x equals 0 and y equals 0 positions the actor decor at the top left of the screen. If I don't set parameters x and y as before, they will have a default value of 0. In AOZ, everything is simplified. With the end x, we tell the actor decor to move its top left corner to the coordinate minus 1920, so outside the screen. That starts at 0. Note that I do not change the y, which therefore remains at its 0 position at the very top of the screen. With loop move equals true, we tell the program to loop the animation for the duration defined by duration, which here is equal to 20,000 milliseconds or 20 seconds. Look here, with these two lines of code, we have the scenery that runs in a loop and magic is displayed at the top left. We didn't tell him anything, so he takes those default values at x equals zero, y equals zero. By the way, just by pressing the run button, the program works in Chrome, Edge, Safari, etc. I don't know about you, but I don't like seeing magic stuck up here at the top. So let's continue our game by modifying the code to move magic up and down on the vertical axis of Y. For this one, we will use a loop with the compound statement do loop and a test with the compound statement if then else. I can tell you that once you have understood the following, you have done the most difficult part and you will already know the basics of programming. Shall we go? Don't panic, I will explain the code I have just added, and before you complain, just know that to do the same in a language like JavaScript or C Sharp, it takes at least three to five times more lines of code. Let's look at this code. The do loop is used to run the code that is between the do and the loop in a loop without stopping. The code inside the loop modifies the py variable depending on whether or not the mouse button is pressed. The if then else, it is composed of three parts. If is followed by the condition that we want to test. Here it's mouse key, which is a function that changes value depending on whether the mouse button is pressed or not. 
If the condition of this if test is true, so when the mouse key equals zero, it means that you did not press the mouse button. Therefore, the program executes what is after the then and increasing the value of variable py by seven pixels. Stop a minute here with a little reminder. If you remember when y equals zero, we are at the very top of the screen, but the more y increases, the further down magic is being rendered. Now, if the condition is false here, if mouse key equals one, not zero, it means that you have pressed the mouse button and program executes what is after the else. Here, this will have the effect of subtracting 15 from PY, so by reducing PY, yes, magic goes up. Now let's explain the second line of this loop. We apply these changes of PY to magic's coordinates so that visually the image moves accordingly. With this line and the new PY coordinates, magic goes up and down. It quickly passes on weight VBL. This instruction allows us to synchronize the display when it is frequently modified. Well, not bad already. Now let's put some hanging obstacles that will move from right to left and that will gradually get closer to each other to increase the level of difficulty. Are you okay? No? No problem. You can easily modify this example. While we are here together, I will teach you another form of loop with the compound instruction for next. This is another form of loop because it is a conditional one. It stops with a variable reach the desired value. Let me give you an example. This little code will display the value of the variable i. Instruction print displays what follows it. It can be a number or text. The variable i will automatically increase by one with each repeat of the loop. At the first pass, i is one, and when it's at the 10th pass, i will be equal to 10, and the loop will stop spinning, and the code that is after the next will be executed by the program. I'll start again. From the variable i which equals one at the beginning to i which equals 10, everything that is in the loop between four and next will be executed. The end says that the program stops there. Now I'll clear this example and add a new loop to display the hanging obstacles, and I'll explain what I've just added. Hanging obstacles, or better known as stalactites, they are very high compared to the screen size which is 920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high. All our actors use the same image of this hanging obstacle, ice.png. Okay, yes, actually, it's not actually a stalactite, but a stalactite with a stalagmite and a hole in the middle. In the four next loop, which counts here up to 50, we create 50 actors with the names actor one, when i is equal to one, then actor two, actor three, etc. They are positioned in x and y values that I calculated and to which I add randomness with the rnd function. rnd is quite simple to use. If I write rnd 10, the function randomly returns a value between one and 10. You do not have to understand this line of calculation right away, but if you want to, in summary, here we create a number of 50 stalactites spaced out by 340 pixels in X. But, 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 the further magic enters the corridor, the closer the stalactites get because we subtract R and D I times 14. So the more I increases, the more the value of R and D increases, and therefore the value of X decreases. So the obstacles get to each other horizontally. Similarly, vertically, they are positioned at Ys, which shrink more and more, therefore increasing the difficulty. But you have to put all this in motion, and that's the role of the parameter auto, which makes the actors move automatically by a minus five pixels. So yes, to the left. This is another technique of automatically moving actors. We have already seen the use of X with end X and the duration parameter. With AOZ, there are even more sophisticated methods to move images, animations, manage collisions between actors, and etc. Ah, speaking of collisions, often a programmer's nightmare, but with AOZ it's quite simple. So let's use our main loop to manage collisions. I first add this line with the actor call function. As the name suggests, this function tests if there is a collision between two actors, but also between an actor and an image, etc. And here we test the collision between the actor magic and the ice image. All 50 stalactite actors use that same ice image, so it will automatically test the collision with any of them, in short, if magic touches a stalactite, the collision becomes true. Then we tell the program to play the boom sound. Here is the result. As soon as magic touches a stalactite, the function actor call that tests the collision between magic and a stalactite becomes true, and then it's booming. Just one line of code handles all of this for us. This is the philosophy of AOZ, to simplify programming so that you can focus on creating your applications, games, or websites. Now we are going to improve the collisions to do more than boom, boom, boom. I've changed this line and now if, and only if there is a collision, 
The code then go to dead tells the program to exit the do loop and go to another part of the code, here labeled dead. This is what the go to is made for and it allows us to jump to designated parts of the program by name. We could have also used what is called procedures. It is a simple and allows us to segment the program into different independent parts, but we'll leave that for a later video. Similarly, if magic falls to the ground, meaning if the vertical position stored in the variable py becomes greater than 1000, it will mean that our character magic has hit the ground. You got it. If there's a collision, then go to redirects the execution of the program to these lines that manage the tragic death of magic and the end of the game. This first line displays an image of the ghost of magic moving upwards. Magic to y shrinks from the current position to end y equals minus 20, which is outside the screen at the very top. Then see there is a semicolon. This indicates that there is another statement to be executed next to it. Thanks to the semicolon, you can put several instructions per line. Here it's Sam Play, who plays a sound whose file name is Death. Then we display a game over image in the middle of the screen. And finally, we wait for the player to press a mouse button. And after that, we move on and erase the game over with the Dell actor or actor Dell. And here we are. Awesome. Now to restart the game, I add a go to and a start label at the very beginning of the program. I have compacted our program to guess what? 17 lines. See the results. You know how to program now. You know how to program. And now we can publish and share our game with the world, become famous even. For this, let me introduce you to the publish button located in the menu bar at the top. This feature is only available with the paid version of AOZ. Wait a minute, we must pay the salaries of the magicians of AOZ. But trust me, nothing prevents you from programming with the awesome free version. But with publish feature, there's no need to install any other software to mount and pay servers to configure DNS, etc. In a few seconds, you will have the web address and QR code of your program, and it will work instantly on PCs, Macs, smartphones, and everything else with an internet browser. Cool, isn't it? AOZ Studio is an all-in-one creative tool that is made for fast and efficient productivity. With AOZ Studio, learning and getting started is immediate and works out of the box, is hassle-free with one-click publishing, has simple and powerful programming instructions. With just a few lines of code, bring to life your characters and your sets, add sound and music, input devices such as touchscreens, joypads, even speech recognition is supported. Animate thousands of graphics objects in 2D and soon in 3D, and it includes a user-friendly manual guide. Programming has the reputation of being very complex, which can discourage and prevent some people from being creative. But with AOZ Studio, everyone now will be able to fully express themselves. AOZ Studio was not designed for a specific target, but for dreamers, entrepreneurs, gamers, influencers, young and old, all those who want to create and share their passion with the world. Many more professional programmers are starting to use AOZ Studio as they realize they can develop four to five times faster and it's more fun. Today, more than ever, mastering a computer language is essential, especially for newer generations. That's why AOZ Studio is open source and absolutely free for schools and associations of education. Well, while watching games made with the beta version of AOZ Studio, let's recap the most important things to remember. These are do loops, conditional loops with for next, test with the if then else, variables that store values or texts, collisions, jumps to labels with go to. And let me also tell you that there are over 800 instructions and functions in AOZ, but with just a dozen of them, you'll be able to do great things. If you are just starting out, remember to first follow the user guide manual, which is located in the manuals folder. By studying it, you will move forward quickly. And if you need help, feel free to ask as we have a fantastic Discord community and we are all there to help each other. So that's it. I thank you for following this little tutorial and I hope it helped you to discover the unlimited potential of AOZ Studio. Whatever you want to create, it is now possible. If you want to create a professional piece of software, your own startup, some small code for your company, a great game or a sophisticated website. If you are looking to train yourself in programming, to find a job or set up your own business, it is now possible.